your first time back on on this set in in months. First time. How's it? How's it feel? It feels like home. Yeah. Yeah. This is you, as you know, you're here a lot. This is our <laughs> this is our home away from home, and this is our family, and it feels like home. Okay. So the the title of this show, the issue is gratitude. Mm -hmm. What does gratitude mean to you? Well, for me, more than anything this year, gratitude means to simply be alive. Mm. Simply be alive. I'm telling you, Alex. When there's a sunset or a sunrise, I actually take a second to actually soak it in now. Mm. The wind on your skin, you know, your dog giving you kisses, every little thing before that you would take it for granted, mm -hmm. you appreciate. So let's, let's talk a little bit about your journey. So yes. several months back, um, you felt like you were a little swollen, right? A lot of swollen, and you yeah. went And you went into the, the doctor, yeah. and then they tell you those three words. You have cancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you need to start chemo right away because the reason why I was oh. swollen was because the tumor was compressing my veins and I wasn't getting blood flow. Mm. So to hear somebody say that at any moment your life could have been taken from you, had I not been proactive to find out what was wrong, it's just, it's crazy to hear that. And then you, you literally didn't get to leave the hospital. You went no. straight into it. I called our executive producer for the evening news and I said, I'm going to be a little late. They were able to squeeze me into the doctor. And I didn't know that I actually wouldn't be coming into work that day or for the next five, six months. And then this army takes over, right? At first, um, once you, you went public, made the decision to go public yes. with this and to tell your story. Yes. And then you start getting all the support from all around the world. Yeah. Uh, it started with our viewers. And then we did that buzz party and, and the video and the piece on Fox. And it has over 5 million views. And I'm getting messages from, like you said, all over the world of people saying, Thank you. You've helped me get through my chemo, or because of your story, I'm now going to the doctor to check on something. And that's just, I mean, there's no better compliment to receive than you are helping me get through my cancer journey. Mm. That's my favorite compliment I've ever gotten. And, and both of us have been involved with the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. God and bless I, them. I, I reached out to them because I've done a lot of work with them and said I want them to help you, and they've been you very did. helpful to you. Sent an email right um, away. And and the Leukemia Lymphoma Society recently had this event called Light the Night, mm -hmm. um, where you were the featured speaker. I was honored to be the MC. Yeah. And we saw thousands of people out there thousands. all cheering you on in, in this process and, and, and coming together in unity. And you literally light the night. So yeah. you hold up a a lantern yes. that says, I'm a survivor. Yes. What did that moment feel like to you? It was so great having our coworkers, my family, friends there, raising awareness, raising money. We raised over $40,000 for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. And for Giving Tuesday, people should still give back to them. So how has this changed your worldview? Because you're an entertainment reporter. You deal in a, a world with a lot of vain, selfish people. Oh, yeah. Not, a lot of great people, too. Sure. It's an industry town. But, yeah. but a lot of the emphasis is on that. Sometimes it's a lot of cynicism in the entertainment industry. How has this changed the way you, you view life, period? It's never easy dealing with cancer. It's not easy dealing with cancer in our industry. You scroll your feed, and it's a lot of beautiful people after beautiful people. But... It made me realize that who I am is not what I do or what I look like. And I'm really, not to brag, I'm proud that I have realized that I'm more than all the exterior. Yeah. Yeah. And, and your family has also been there every step of the way. And on this Thanksgiving week, what talk about your mom, your grandmother, your dad, and what their They're my impact rocks. has been. They're my rocks. I love my, I've always cherished my family. But this brought us closer more than I can describe. You know, having my mom basically move in with me, having my grandma attend lab appointments with me, having my dad be my life coach, telling me that cancer doesn't stand a chance against you, cheering me on for months, that can't be bought. And that was priceless and invaluable. And I love them so much. I know they're watching and I love you guys forever and ever. All right. Um, as we go to break, I'm going to love to play music. Shut. This is your pick. This yes. is Land Manuel Miranda, that's right. right? That's Puerto Rican. That's right. Uh, what a, yeah, Puerto Rican Hamilton. Rock. What does this song mean to you? My shot. Cancer or no cancer, I am not throwing away my life. Yes, and we are not throwing away our shot while we have you yes. oh. to play some personal issues and also the name game Entertainment Edition. That's right. So we might also see a little dancing from Amanda. A little Land well. Manuel Amanda right now. <laughs> <laughs> or with Amanda Salas. We come back. Don't make me take off this beret and yeah. swing it around. Yeah.